Hello, Liberty. I'm back with another 2020 Senior Spotlight. And right now I am here with your co-advisor, Mrs. Crescitelli. Hi, Mrs. Crescitelli. How are you? Hi, Ms. Fuentes. How are you? I'm good. I'm doing all right. How are you um, adapting to being at home right now? Uh, well, you know, it's very strange because I'm a people person and I like to be out. But, uh, you know, you do the best you can with it. Um, you know, thank God I have a very strong, happy marriage and uh, we are doing OK. You know, you hear about all the things going on and it's not happening here. So that's good. <laughs> um, you know, I also have two grandchildren. Um, one of which I get to see in person because we've been together since it started. The other one I do on that uh, Skype, whatever you face chat kind of stuff thing. So they, you know, I see them all the time and they're, they're a happy thing. So we're doing good. You know, we're hanging in there. Yeah. As long as you get to see your family somewhat, it always helps. Yeah. Zoom is a good thing. Zoom is a very good thing, especially for an old timer like me. Yeah. I think it's great. I actually, see and talk to my sister Katie in New Orleans more right now than I did before this. And I'm like, why didn't we do this a long time I ago? <laughs> it, I hear you. That's, that's true. Yeah, yeah. it's great. Um, so when you think about this senior class, are there any things that pop to mind um, about them or any memories that you have? Uh, the biggest memories I have of this class is that being um, – you know, special ed teacher with the life skills class, uh, a lot of the kids in this class have really stepped up to just make my kids feel welcome in the high school. And they've gone out of their way to come in and talk to them and just make them feel like they're part of their class. Even during color wars, you know, when they do the games, my kids are not necessarily the biggest game players, but they will go right in and grab them and bring them down and give them a shot at getting involved. So that's that's such a positive thing about this class. They're really, really very kind and caring. And the other thing I have, of course, is the girls' volleyball and the girls' basketball. You know, to watch these girls, the volleyball kids I've watched since they were on Modified, and the basketball girls, I think I've seen them since they were maybe sophomores. So just to watch the girls in a different uh, perspective is is very, very cool. And then to see them in the hallway and say, hey, great game, hey, that was good. You know, I love doing that with the kids because it's it's a great thing. Yeah. Um, I You and I always talk after Color Wars, and I, I do love the way that they um, make your kids feel like they're a part of it, especially I, I believe his name is Austin, correct? Yes, yes. They, you know, he came to help after school for um, decorating, and he – just like they just let them be a part of every single thing. And it, it's just really, really nice. And the way they looked out for him after school, like one of them was keeping track of the time so he could get to the bus on time and everything. They were just really very cute. Right. That's a big deal to the kids too, because they don't necessarily participate in, in all the things that the, you know, general ed kids do. So for them, anything that they can do is a, is a positive. And the kids were just, just fabulous to them. Really fabulous. Yeah, it, I have it, it feel good about them leaving Liberty, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's... That they're it's, good human beings. They are. They're going to go out and make the world a better place. And, you know, even the seniors coming in, and two of them in particular, um, the twins, uh, Nicole and Nick, um, you know, those two kids are just absolutely adorable uh, among all the other kids. But, you know, they would come into the coffee shop when it was open, like every day, how you doing, what's going on? I don't necessarily know the kids, but when they come in there, you get to, you know, you start talking to them and say, what's your name? You know, and just two beautiful, beautiful kids, um, along with all the kids that came in there that were just so kind and so nice. And, and really, I, I love seeing them in there. Yeah. Yeah. We miss them right now. Yes, absolutely. Um, so what message do you want to send to the seniors right now? I just want to tell them that, uh, you know, they are, they're, they're wonderful kids. This too shall pass and they will have a graduation. They will have the things that they want. They just might not be in the same form and they might not be as soon as they want them, but they are going to go out into the world and make it a better place because they've lived through a pandemic. They've lived through, you know, a tough, tough thing to live through. And they, 
just watching them in their senior spotlights, how positive they are has made me think, oh, well, I'm not going to complain about anything because mm -hmm. these kids are the most positive kids about everything that's happening to them. So I wish them all the best and I hope we get to see them real soon. And I know they're going to make the world a better place. I know they are. Yeah. Very nice. Um, thank you very much, Ms. Crescitelli. And um, if there's anything else you want to share, you can. But if not, um, we really appreciate you being a part of this with us. Sure, sure. I'm good. And I hope that they're all good. And I hope they're all safe and healthy. Yeah. Well, you stay safe and healthy yourself. And um, thank you again for being a part of this. And thank you for all the help you've uh, given to the seniors this year, especially. Um, caps and gowns and, you know, uh, all that stuff that we will get to use at some point, hopefully. <laughs> right. That's right. We will. They will be wearing those cap and gowns. That's Definitely. right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you very much. And everybody else, I will be back with another 2020 Senior Spotlight soon.